back to Red Glasses Talks. We're talking about the things that only Jesus can offer you for your life. And so we're continuing this on this one particular area of his power, the power that comes through the person of the Holy Spirit. And so we want to look at today a couple more of these uh, components that Jesus offers us through the person of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, the Bible says, this is amazing. The Bible says the Holy Spirit prays for us. So if you look at uh, Romans chapter number 8 and down at verse 26 and 27, you read the following. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for. You ever felt like that? But the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groans that, that words cannot express. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit because the Spirit intercedes for Christians or the saints in accordance with God's will. So what he's saying here is literally the Holy Spirit in our lives, when we find it difficult to know how to pray or what to pray uh, about, intercedes for us as a go-between for us between ourselves and our Heavenly Father and takes the deeper needs and the yearnings of our heart that sometimes we're not even aware of and takes them before the Heavenly Father. My goodness, think about that. Think about the confidence that you can have before your Heavenly Father, knowing that even when things are difficult and confusing, the person of the Holy Spirit takes our deepest needs and yearnings to the Father. Well, the next thing the Holy Spirit does, the Bible says, is the Holy Spirit produces spiritual fruit. So let's look at Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the fruit, a lot of times people say, well, the fruits, it's not the fruits, if you look at the passage, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. The fruit of the Holy Spirit. So let me give you a, a little understanding of what those uh, fruits mean. They're very down to earth, and they're very practical. Love, not butterflies in the stomach. That's a Hollywood love. Biblical love is selflessly seeking the will of God for the one you love. Joy, the inner contentment we experience despite our external circumstances. Boy, that's a good one. Peace, harmony in our human relationships. Do you have that? Patience, most people think patience is passive, that it only refers to waiting. But patience also involves our ability to endure and our ability to forego an impatient response when we are justly provoked. Patience is active. It means surrendering our right to hurt back when others hurt us. Kindness and goodness. These synonyms have different shades of meaning. However, they both connote loving treatment of those who don't deserve it. Listen closely. Faithfulness. This means reliability in service, the kind of dependable commitment God can count on. Can he count on you in your service? Gentleness or meekness, the ability to submit yourself to the will of God. The strongest man or woman is not the one who forces his or her will upon others, but the man or the woman who has that power and willingly surrenders it. Mm. Self-control, the ability to resist fleshly impulses. So here's the point. Trying to live the Christian life without the Holy Spirit is like flying without wings. It ain't going to work. Well, you think about that. 